literally a quick video. Um, I've got Annie now. Oh, excuse me. I've got to sit here. And this chair's squeaking like me mad. Um, yeah, I've got loads to do today, but <clears throat> Peter's gone fishing, and I've got five minutes before I start my housework. <coughs> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. And I thought I'd give Annie a change out of this romper. She's going to go into this little dinosaur dress because she hasn't worn it yet. So I thought she could go into that today. Thank you for all your kind comments on my daughter's wedding photos. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. I, I'm done a video and I went to sort it over on, is it iMovies? Yeah, I think it is. And I did the video, put all the photos on the end, but didn't transfer it back to my iPad and I posted the wrong one. I posted it without any photos. So I had to come back and do the photo one. <laughs> When Susie Q, from Susie Q's Little Haven Gal, when she told me there was no photos on the end, I thought, oh, bum. I knew exactly what I'd done. So, yeah, I had to go back and do that. Yeah, there was just a few photos. Um, obviously, I didn't give you more because it would be really boring, wouldn't it? We had a lovely day. You wouldn't think the weather was horrendous. It rained, it thundered, lightning everything so the um little volkswagen minibus that they hired for the wedding i don't think this has got anything around the top or just down the front um the the driver had to get <laughs> had to go into the town hall where they were getting married um the, the bride and bridesmaids had to come out under he yeah, held an umbrella up for them so they didn't get too wet. Right. <clears throat> right, let's change you, little Miss Muffet, eh? Little Annie. I've got, um, this afternoon, I've got to go to the doctors for a pneumonia jab. You have your once in your life, that's all you need one pneumonia jab and that covers you um so that is i went two weeks ago i went and had my covid one day then the next day i went and had my flu jab my covid booster that is um for the autumn booster that we have in the uk and then yeah the day after that i went and had my flu jab then last week i went and had blood test oh I probably should have asked for results while I'm there couldn't I and um, I said to her the, the nurse that did it I said oh I said because uh, we were chatting away I said am I ch can I have a um, pneumonia jab because people were getting them my friends were getting them from their GPs and uh, she said, oh, I'll have to have a look. So she looked on the computer. She said, yeah, I'll book you in for next week. So I didn't have time to think about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going for that. She's doing it, same woman. Um, she did put me down for somebody else. And I said, no, I'll come and see you again. So I'm going to go and see her this afternoon. Then hopefully I won't have to go back to the doctors for a long time. I didn't go there for my COVID booster. They were done down the town hall. Oh. Hey. Come on. Oh, she's going to start. Ruby, pack it in. You've had your breakfast. Oh, she's been a nightmare. She has. Not this one. <laughs> Are you okay? in the other room to bed I think she uh, likes to curl up on my dressing gown so I thought blooming thing brushed it all off and the day before last I washed it so 
but the night before last she didn't have it there to sleep on I put other blankets down for her that she's used in the past but no she didn't want to sleep she wants to sleep on my head not next to me on my head oh she drove me mad all night long I'm pushing her off my pillow back onto these blankets and no she didn't want it and so I didn't get any sleep that night and um because I wouldn't give in to her and let her lay on my, my pillows so last night my dressing gown was dry and I said to Pete well I'm gonna have to let, give it back to her so that I get some sleep I said but she's not gonna like it because it smells freshly washed so I had to get ready for bed early and wear this dressing gown <laughs> for a few hours before I put it down and then yeah she did when she came in at night she did curl up and went to sleep on it animals as much as we love them they rule our lives don't they oh there we go yeah. i wouldn't be without them though i i you know that little time after ben died uh, and i didn't have a cat because i lost the cat the parrot and the dog all in the same year and my mum uh well within a year and uh, yeah, I was totally lost. I said to Pete, was going to be no more animals. You got the tortoises. I said, Jeff, yeah, you don't cut on tortoises, do you? They're just in the garden. And he went, he, you know, he wasn't going to give in. And then uh, I was looking them all up because, you know, I normally take in rescues. That is how I've I've had all of mine, I think. No, I think a couple of cats um up. I've got in other places but mainly rescues and my dog was a rescue and things like that so I think I'll leave those socks on because I haven't got any more out for you no um yeah and then my daughter she said look she said do you want Ruby she said she's just not because she'd moved oh god and she said she's just not settling she won't settle here she's just not happy so that's how I got Ruby. Now, should we put boots on? Boots? Is that going to be too hot for you, really? Or oh, I've got pink shoes. You've got pink in this. That's a darker pink, but I think these will be too small. Why don't you just go for these ones and see? Yeah, I was saying to Pete before we go before he allowed me to have another animal, I kept saying to him, who do you think you are, my dad? <laughs> and he's, um, he said, well, you know, we don't, we could never go, I said, we never go places anyway, so, he said, well, we could, I said, yeah, we don't. <laughs> I said, I've never been without animals, you know, even as a child, we always had animals, always. And I think my kids were brought up with animals. And uh, I think, you know, if children and people have animals, it makes them a better, better person. Do you, do you think that? Not that there's, they're horrible people if they don't have animals, but some people just don't. I can't understand how I was in Asda one day or come out of Asda about a year or so ago across the car park and this man and this woman man and woman, yeah husband and wife was walking their little boy across the car park and letting him run over and kick kick out of pigeons and I said to him don't do that it's not nice and his mum just laughed and said oh we don't like them now what mentality is that? I dread to think what he'd grow up, up like. I really do. But never mind. Never mind. It's not my business, is it? No, not my business. So, but yeah, I can't stand cruelty to any, any animals. Here we go. Oh, that looks quite cute. Yeah, cute. That's the word. And she's got a little pink shoes on with a butterfly. I think dinosaurs might eat butterflies. Um, 
Right, that's us. As I say, I've got a housework to do, so I haven't even got a cup of coffee with me today. Um, just thought I'd get a little video in, and uh, the third video of the week. My goodness, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? So many videos. There we go. Right. I was going to bake a cake and put it in my air fryer, because I haven't baked in there yet and uh, show you that, but I don't think I'll have time this morning, maybe this afternoon, I'll see. See how I'm feeling when I get back from the doctors, you never know, I might make a quick cake and shove it in there, see what it comes out like. I shouldn't really, because I might be tempted to eat it then. No, I'm really focused at the moment. Uh, Peter said to me, order a tub of chocolates on the shopping and I, I, I did forget I thought he meant for Christmas but I did forget not to I didn't get any and he said where's my chocolates and then today I said well I've got to go up to as this afternoon because I've got to go and post a little package off to eBay and um, I park in Asda and then walk to the post office and then when I come back I should go in Asda I could do a video of the clothes they got if they got any nice ones baby clothes I'll do a little video but I doubt it because I, I couldn't find anything I really wanted last time I was in there and um, I said do you want me to get you chocolates I said because they're cheaper in Asda I said they're four pound a box and they're five pound in Tesco's and he went yeah no he said because you'll be tempted now that's the first time this time around he knows that you know if there's chocolate about I'm gonna be tempted before it's you should have willpower you should have willpower do it yourself you don't need to go to group and all this but now even though the weight's not going down a lot in numbers my figure is is changing and he actually noticed the other day he said my god he says you're looking so much different he said you can really see it and he said no I'm not tempting you with having chocolate in the house and I thought oh that's good yeah, that is nice. He's, he's never bothered that before. You know, you should have the willpower not to eat it. And I kept saying, I, I can't. If it's there, I will. I'm best, better off if I don't have any. Mind you, the last, um, our daughter bought us, one of our daughters bought us, uh, now it was grandparent day apparently the other weekend. Now we don't celebrate that in the UK. I think it's only just come about the last year or something. I didn't even know it existed at all and uh, I got this we got this card and a, a box of chocolates arrived I have four chocolates and I gave the rest to Peter so I was really really good so there we go that's it I've waffled enough and um isn't this lovely and I'm gonna go it's Marks and Spencer's this one apparently yeah, age naught to three months, because you're a fatty. Right, I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week if I don't see you before. You know, I could come back and make a cake later. Who knows, but don't bank on it. No, don't bank on it. See you later. Have a lovely weekend. And um, I've got a couple of videos that I know I haven't watched yet to catch up on. I might get time to do that before I go to the doctors, we'll see. Bye bye.